That's right. Don't forget mom. Now all new at six o'clock, the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic in the Caribbean. For the most part, the islands have not seen high percentages of cases and deaths the way we've seen in this country. But as CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, the impact is being felt there in another way. For now, Caribbean tourism is dead in the water and wholly dependent on what's next in the United States, Europe, and Canada. This is the image the island nations of the Caribbean want you to remember. Sand, sea, palms. But these days, the reality is... The, the, the Caribbean's pretty much locked down, so, um, you know, you can, I think you, Puerto Rico probably has the best connectivity right now, but even in Puerto Rico, you're going to be screened. They have quarantines, the different criteria you have to pass. Um, so pretty much the answer is no, I would say. No to travel to most Caribbean islands. Most flights banned. And because they are islands, a good defense against the coronavirus. The luxury of, of being islands in this respect has been beneficial for many of them because connectivity is, is more limited. The, the, the Caribbean has actually been more aggressive in a lot of ways than, than other countries around the world. Uh, I, mean, I mean, a lot of Caribbean countries now, you can't even leave your house. If you do not have the type of bread you like in your house, eat crackers. If you do not have bread, eat cereal, eat oats. My proposal is that we do a staggered approach whereby a segment of the population will be allowed to move while the rest stays put. Scenes like this are no more. Hotels shut down, tourism employs an estimated 2.5 million people, generates one-third of the region's economic output. Other than the Dominican Republic with 5,300 cases of coronavirus and 260 dead, the rest of the Caribbean population faring fairly well. Not that many deaths. What ails a region is a potential economic near-death that won't be cured until... Obviously, a lot will depend on the ability of the United States and the United Kingdom and Canada, which are the three biggest uh, tourism source markets, to, to be able to send people and to have people comfortable going on planes. Um, and, I, and I do think that once that happens, and the Caribbean is going to see a, a, a very strong rebound. You can check out the coronavirus status in each Caribbean nation by going to our website, cbsmiami.com. I'm Hank Tuster. CBS 4 News.